there's a great sense of responsibility. I don't want to disappoint him. Um, he is very hands off, so the trust that he places in me makes that sense of responsibility even greater. When Michelle Yong was about to graduate from university, she got a letter from her father saying she should not join the family construction business, Woha. Her younger brother, on the other hand, was groomed to join the business. Several years later, Miss Yong did join a Woha subsidiary called Orum Land. Besides property, she's gone into fitness and co-working spaces. These are new areas for Woha, which was founded by her great-grandfather in 1927. The company is behind many iconic buildings in Singapore, from Clifford Pier to Changi Prison, and more recently Gardens by the Bay and Jewel at Changi Airport. I'm meeting Miss Yong and her father, Woha chairman Kim Yong Tian Yun, at Korea Restaurant at Great Wu City. It is a building which was, yes, also built by Woha. Could you tell us a little bit about that letter you wrote and why you wrote it? The uh, letter was basically one telling Michelle that it's not my intention to invite her to join the business. Similar letter to my son, but complete opposite, that I'm hoping that he will join the business. I wrote these two different letters, not because of the ability, um, simply because I'm being realistic as a father, that I didn't feel that time, the year 2000 to during that time, that the company has reached the position, what I call sufficient financial stability to put both my kids' career uh, within our family business. Uh, it is purely very much a decision of uh, family financial needs. But you did join the family business later on, right? Correct. Yeah, you were invited by, by him. Yes, I was invited twice. Uh, about four or five years later, first time to come in uh, into a finance role, which I declined. Um, I chose to go into management consulting. Um, and then the second time, when my um, late uncle passed away, he was running Oram Land, and my father invited me to take over Oram Land, try to grow it into um, a bigger business that could contribute to the wider World Hub group, um, which I accepted. What, what is it like working I mean, with your dad, even though you, know, you work in a, a separate subsidiary, right? There's a great sense of responsibility. I don't want to disappoint him. Um, he is very hands-off, so the trust that he places in me makes that sense of responsibility even greater. Um, I do know when he starts to call me into his office and ask for more regular meetings, I know that's when I'm not performing. Because other than that, he's given me free reign. And while he said that he thinks I've got a harder job because I am creating new businesses versus Neil, who is taking over an established business, and I think my brother's got a harder role. It's, it's, always, it's hard to stay on top when the expectations are very high versus when you're starting from you know, ground zero and there's only, you can only go up, right? <laughs> yeah, so Michelle, which is uh, your favourite building that your dad's company built? I'd have to say Jewel um, because when we went to uh, visit for the very first time, he had organised dinner to take the whole family to to visit and I was not feeling well and I actually didn't want to go but I'm really glad I did because when I turned up I could really sense his pride and that made me feel great. What's the one thing that you you know most like or admire about your dad? His honesty. He'll say, he says what he means. Um, his determination as well to see things through. And Mr. Yong, for, for yourself or Michelle? Well similar what you said. Um, as I said earlier, <clears throat> I only wish you slow down and be less demanding on yourself. Do, do you both feel like the weight of being in the family business? I look at the family business as hopefully is an ongoing perpetual thing. We are what I term myself as temporary custodian in the position to do well and do good by helping all your stakeholders, all your team members, and the less fortunate, as simple as that. 
if we can continue to do that, then I think that's a real purpose. But actually now that I'm part of the business, um, I'm less fearful because I don't think that we are reckless. I think every decision that we make is very well considered, um, that we do have that you know, good foundation to build upon, and yet we're not complacent and just going to rest on our laurels. We're constantly thinking about the future and what could we do better, how to hedge against risks. We're not going to sink the ship. <laughs> All right, thanks very much for having lunch. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.